Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you. And welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Let's get going then. Uh, where we supposed? Okay, here. Ah, huh. say to go. Okay, yes. Hey. Oh, we are dirty. <laughs> we are very dirty. What? What? Waiting for you in Altisha. Uh, be there as fast as I can. Got it. I will be asking myself. Umbra, Umbra got like a teleport station thing, right? Alright, where do I go? Oh, we're going down! I cannot see, but we're going down. Hi. Are we dirty? Am I dirty? Yeah, I'm very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So finally the wedding. Hey, I'm gonna call him Taco. Look, Prince Noctis, even the marshal came to say goodbye. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. I guess it's goodbye for now. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is. Why they don't come? I mean, do they need to pay or something? Oh. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board. <laughs> you know that. Hey, your majesty. What's up? Please, come back soon. We need our king. <laughs> yeah, count on it. Are they staying alone there? I know I've seen this around. Okay. You know, I like. Oh. Yes. Yes. Nah. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Everything from pronto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Oh. You were not there. Dude, this photo. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this one. I'm gonna print it. Oh. 
Okay. Calling. Snox received a warm send off as he set sail for Alticia. In high spirits, the prince got forth ostensibly to seek the blessing of the Idrain, which will enable him to challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Luna Freya, his betrothed. Idrain. Okay, okay. Oh no, we are there and we are going there. Okay. I thought we were there, but then I saw the meteorite. So I was like, a oh, number man. And the, the volcano? Hammerstone? Yeah, there. Uh huh. Yeah. Look at me, geographic. Loading. Oh. Gray plus altitude. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altitia, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the Ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. All the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. 
Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodging's our first order of business. All work and no play makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Dude. Wow. Does this vessel have an entry permit?
Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. So, how do I travel? Walk. Okay. Sorry for the stupid question. Hmm. They call it the Walls of Water, but it ain't just the walls, it's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means, we'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats! Hey, <laughs> not this! Catch! Uh oh Key to the boat! What, don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? I was waiting for them to say something. To give the, the real best but you're not able to go sail at this time. Sure. Uh, so, should I? Oh, What's thanks. Next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... As Ignis. It. It's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga... Mag... Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. <laughs> I... okay. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Search for what kind of horse. Mar. Sid wasn't Cal kidding, it is big. <laughs> Crowded too. Wait a second, line. let me see the map. What is this? What is this? Oh wait. Does this guy sell like map? The gondol is wrong. Oh no, no. Oh wait. Oh no. I want to talk. Never mind, he doesn't do anything. Maybe if we go to the place immediately, they're gonna give me a map. This looks like that city on Italy. I don't know the name, sorry. No, really, I don't know the name. <laughs> I wish I could go there. Without rain. The sun. Oh, the boat. What? Hold on a sec. I was hoping to get a picture or two around here. Yeah. You can do whatever you want from. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. 
Alright, uh, you okay. Huh. But we still need I to I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? Gondola! Care for a ride? Oh, uh, uh. I don't know. Prompt. Gentlemen, it has been a. Wait. Prompt. Where is? Ah, uh, prompt. Up here. Pleasure. So, where am I? There you go. Do it. That's fancy. Yeah, for sure this was inspired. Now I see why people flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Is she talking about me? She shocked it. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Waskamama, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Hey, he's cool. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. Okay. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. The Empire... Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah. But on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question, if they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. So you see lots of nifts around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they felled the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And... The Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, 
Come to my estate. Sure. I want to she be... She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh. Okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. But might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. How do I do that? Shop till you drop. Do I talk to him? Take a photo. Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. Ah, in the morning. How about the cafe in the brochure? Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Should you ever need it, Mark. Okay, where is uh, you know, a place to sleep? Where should we stay tonight? So. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, care to take a cruise? Yes. Here. Here, I guess. Yes, because they don't talk. When they don't talk, and there is no Fantastic. music. Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. All right. Uh, Have a look here. at this, Noct. What about it? Touring the town, the use of our famous gondolas, experience the city on the ocean the way it was meant to be. Of these water waterways, turns with authority. How about a ridela on the gondola? We we didn't just do that. <laughs> just asking. Oh, Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Through Umbra powers, you can now revisit past memories, summon him when you rest at lodgings. Character will retain their current levels and abilities. Rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. The place you call Umbra will be set as your last rest point. You can now sail the open sea in the royal vessel board the boat from Galdian Kwai, Cap Cam, or Altitia. Oh, I'm free to go? Greetings. Let's call it a day. Above, long last. Yes. I don't know how many days I left them without bathing. The what? I didn't do anything. Do we have photos? Yes. Oh hey, yeah. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Oh, pronto. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> okay. She won't mind, right? We took a photo of her. In a nice angle. Hi. What? <laughs> okay. We gonna let it till here. And tomorrow we continue. So guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next one. If you guys want. All the lights are passing by And all my thoughts, they multiply I see it flash before my eyes